Are you tired of boring contact forms? Have you ever wanted to build super interesting contact forms with drop down menus and or multi select fields that are more fun to fill out? As fun as contact forms can be to fill out, which isn't that fun, but at least it's a little more fun than the super boring ones. Then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab and let's get started. So here it says, please choose an option. They click on it, chooses an option. Here we have our favorite number. They can click on each individual one or they can hold command or control to select multiple. Submit the form and send us that information. To add this to your form, it's super simple. Just come into your contact form seven editor. I'm assuming you're already a little bit familiar with contact form seven. If you're not, there's a tutorial that I have linked to up here in the card or down below in the description. That's a full walkthrough of the core contact form seven plugin. And I've got a whole playlist of Contact Form 7 tutorials, one of which you're watching right now. That'll be linked to somewhere as well. So the form that you see or that you saw a moment ago is set up right here. We have an opening label tag, your favorite animal is the text, and a closing label tag. And that's what we see right here. And then we have the actual select menu right here. I'm going to add a new one just so you can see how it works. Let's make this your favorite number. And then right below that, I'm going to click on drop down menu and we can make this field required or not. The options we're going to enter are one, two, three, four for favorite number. We can allow multiple selections. This turns the drop down menu into a multi select field. I'll show you what that looks like in case you don't know. You can also insert a blank item as the first first option and that includes a call to action. It's not actually blank, but we'll check that box as well. So now we have our new form field right here. Let's save that, head out to the front end, refresh the page, and we have, please choose an option. That's that blank edition that we spoke about a minute ago, Donkey, Emu, Giraffe, Meerkat. And we have that option here as well, which doesn't make a lot of sense because it's a multi-select form. So the blank edition you want to use for dropdowns, not for multi-selects. So let's go back to here. I'm going to take out the blank for that first one, save that again, did that backwards. We're going to take out the blank of the second one and put it into the first one or leave it in the first one because it makes much more sense in the drop down menu. Otherwise, you'd have an auto selected answer, and a lot of people might just submit that, not even knowing there's other options. You might want to have a little bit of text saying they can do that in here as well. You can also have things pre selected. So we can have, let's see, default to, spell default correctly. There we go. And now it's going to have pre-selected number two. We can also have multiple. So if we put default two underscore four, that's going to auto select or pre-select number two and number four. Those entries happen to coincide with actual numbers in the field, but it doesn't have to, obviously. Whatever is in the second field position and fourth field position will be auto selected with that setting. If you're getting value from this video, this is a great time to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get back to it. And then when we have our drop down menus as we want them, we have to make sure we add them to the mail tab. Go to the mail tab. Here in black, we have one of our drop downs that's not in our email yet. Your favorite number, paste that right in there, save it. And we come back out here and refresh. And then we'll fill out the form. We'll send the email to my email account to see how it looks. Click on submit once the form is filled out. You know, notice we just chose the two pre-selected options, not even um, our own choices, which works either way. So here we have our form data, giraffe and number two and number four. And if you want to get a hold of my super popular 17 point WordPress launch checklist that's been downloaded over 100,000 times over the years, there's a link to it in the description down below. It's going to help you flawlessly launch every one of your WordPress sites from now on. So check that out, it's totally free. There's a link in the description. Next up, check out this video right here. It's the next part of this Contact Form 7 series or check out the whole series in this playlist right down here. You can jump to any part you want. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.